All right, so I got this uh, this old HP. It's working. It's working fine. I slapped a drive in it, and it's booting. The only problem is that you know I told you the missing key, but I've I've got a key that'll probably replace that one. Although it is the minus key, which is not very necessary. <laughs> if you're gonna lose a key, that's the one to lose. Uh, here we go with Windows 8. Here's my reflection. This thing is quite shiny. Okay, let's just get this thing booting on Windows 8. So that was actually really quick. High reflection. Holy crap, this thing is reflective. Everything's still installed. Like, it's it's installed right now. So that's pretty quick for a Windows install on this old HP. I guess it had Windows 7 before, but, you know, Windows 8, all, all the better. Why not? And we still got, like, a gig of updates to go here. Sit back. Make uh, some popcorn or something. This is going to take a while. Jeez. All right. So everything's installed. And uh, now we're just going to go to you know 98.com and uh i you know i use this every time i install something and just install the basics you know and it's chrome and i don't know cd burner xp that's always handy uh, fox it reader that's a good a good reader play around download what you need oh and of course classic start we don't want that one i don't like the uh the start good quote classic start of windows xp it looks like shit it just brings you back to the metro menu and uh, that's useless and thankfully, back to the uh, original start menu from Nunei.com. Uh, That's the only way to go because I hate using all, everything else and then downloading your turn and Chrome and everything is installed. So, what the hell? This is a good to go machine. I think I'm done. Besides that button, I'll fix that. Okay, this has been running for like two hours right now. Basically, I defrag the drive. Okay, I've been copying movies over to the drive. And actually playing them too so i probably shouldn't show this shit it's uh, been running fine and for two hours man that's not bad for an hp still has what 18 percent remaining the battery is still good in this puppy awesome okay and uh, also i got to put that minus key back on so i just got to quickly show you there's a couple methods doing this as one is you use a guitar pick that's a little bit safer but I just use a Swiss Army knife and I kind of just pry out a little tiny bit to hear the clip and uh, then usually you can just pry these things straight off kind of don't force them too much until you hear the clip though because there are plastic clips on the back and when you take those puppies off you can break them but for the most part they just pop right off like so and I got myself a minus key and that looks about the same as on the other hard drive for the other um, HP laptop and what these clips do is when you uh, pull them out you can just pull them out just a tiny little increment and then you can just snap them back on and they'll hopefully hold on there so let's try this on the HP okay I just press that on there and it's this one sits a little bit lower so I might have to find a different key but for now looks like it'll work um, I'll keep looking for another keyboard this one uh, yeah that's a bit lower profile so I may have to Look through my hoard and find another another one, but at least it's not a gaping hole in the actual mappy toppy. Okay, so it's a HP G56, nothing special, but the price is right. Pretty much got this thing free. So let's boot this up and I'll show you how things are. And everything appears to be working correctly. It actually even boots right into the desktop instead of the stupid Metro or what Windows calls the desktop now. It doesn't go to that menu. It goes straight into uh, the actual old style like kind of windows 7 style and uh, again you can use some of those um tweaks from ninite.com to deal that and we've got our metro desktop which is a piece of crap how do i get back out yeah okay so you can go up here get back to the main desktop and then do your application stuff but whatever man this thing is working pretty darn well for the price i thought i was just going to toss this thing for parts but nope it looks like it's, I could sell this right now. And uh, even with that crappy minus key. Yeah, it is a minus key. So there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I can make a few bucks off this. Because it is a decent laptop. And I did say that HPs are always overheating. But this one is yet to overheat. The battery lasts about two and a half hours under full load. We're talking defrag, movies, copying files, everything. So if you're just browsing the web it should last a lot more than two hours that's for damn sure but yeah thanks for watching guys hp don't always suck this is the first hp i've had i actually enjoy cheers guys